What's going on guys? Today we're using small hooks and we're using extremely large hooks. And today we're fishing with a very special guest. Her name is Dar Sizzle, AKA Darcy, AKA Dar Sizzle Offshore. Let's get into fishing. Okay, you see all these little holes here? Like that, like this. Oh, right there. Oh, no way. Yeah, have you seen that before? No. They work really well for bait. Wow. And I didn't even know about them until like maybe a month ago. I always see the holes, but I never knew that, that this was under there. So you're gonna put it down? Yep. Cool, about halfway. I got one! Go shrimp! Alright, he's getting a bucket oh, and... I wasn't recording before. You, you weren't recording? That's okay, you can catch way more. I love I'm, it. I'm not holding that. Hold his tail. Like he's right here. You can't waste any time. I'm gonna get my fingers right dirty now. on my camera. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's so cool. Did the fish go crazy for that? I believe it. This is like the best bait right there. Yeah, this is the best bait. You have sand fleas here too? Yeah, we do, but not in this spot here. Uh, further south, we have more. Ooh. The best baits. Ow! You got hit? Oh my god. I'm still holding it. <laughs> Ow! It looks like it hurts. It does. I don't by that I don't little thing. Their little claws bother me. Me too. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god. Ow. Oh my god, it's really stuck. This is the, this is the hardest I've ever been bitten by one. <laughs> what is going on? No, I got, oh, I got it, I got it. Oh, wow. good. That was actually a hard pinch. Are you bleeding a little bit? Just Jeez. a little bit. Yeah. Okay, can you hold one like this so you don't get bitten right here? Like right there? Are you doing half the body? We're gonna do the whole thing. Whole thing, okay. Just We're gonna put it through as many times as we can, just like this. Ah, and then we've got this um, Invisa thread. This is like bait elastic. Just like wrap it around? Just wrap it around like a bunch of times so it doesn't come off. Yeah. So he could come off in the waves in the surf if you don't wrap it? Yeah. Got it'll it. come off easily or it'll get picked off really easily. Got it. Smart. I'm scared of his claw. Dude, I think there's the freakiest things that I've ever seen. So yeah. <laughs> just the fact that you're touching it and putting it on a hook is already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just ran right through. Okay. Beautiful. Now, just wrap it. Whatever we catch on this small hook, we're gonna put on this big hook and drone it out, kind of like a food chain. Oh. See? So one of the biggest questions I get is, what size hook do I use? Big hook, small hook, what size? And today, we're gonna really find out, because I'm gonna be using a small, two-aught size hook and a humongous, humongous hook. Small bait, big bait, small hook, big hook. What does each catch? Let's find out. So you don't always want to use a small hook and you don't always want to use a big hook. It really depends. What are you going for in particular? And today in our experiment, I'm going to be using both hooks and see what each of them catch. Now, when I use small hooks, I'm really targeting smaller fish or fish that have smaller mouths that, you know, can inhale this in one bite. Whereas something like this, I'm going to be only targeting fish that can inhale an entire fish like this. That means humongous fish. Humongous fish means I have to have a humongous rod. Smaller hook means I can have a smaller rod. And I reflect that upon with, with the rods that I'm using. Now, I'm gonna be using this small hook with shrimp and ghost shrimp that I catch on the beach. And I'm gonna be using this with the fish that I catch and also using the drone that I have to drop it about a quarter mile out there. looking for is a bigger bait so hopefully this is like a nice whiting and then we can put it out on the bigger bait rod to catch a bigger fish. Oh, is it no. a catfish? No! Double catfish, no! Oh. We'll let him go. We don't want catfish though. You guys know that. Oh, fish on! Woo. Fish on! Fish oh. on! Woo! Nice fish, dude. Did you see that? Oh. You never look up on 
That was a big bite. What is it? I'm guessing it's a, either a redfish or a ladyfish. Oh, it's a big ladyfish. Oh my god, look at that thing. That is huge. Monster. All right, let's put this guy out. Yeah. That is a monster. Wow. That's a big ladyfish. Oh. Look, it snapped my rig in half too. That's a nice one. Let's put the head out. Save the rest for ladyfish balls. Yeah. Both baits at one time. Look at that greedy guy. Something was biting it. Aaron. Oh. Is it happening? This is happening? This is a good size one. So I'm gonna cut the guy's head off, or just use a piece of his body. I'm gonna put on the huge hook, fly it out there, drop it down, and see what bites that. I don't expect to get as many fish, but I expect to get a big fish. Let's do it. This is a new Fisherman Max 2. This thing is freaking epic. It can carry seven pounds. And uh, it's actually really easy to set up. You go like this. You see these carbon fiber arms? That's how you know it's good quality. Carbon fiber is always good quality. And it's nice because you can just set it up really quickly, really compact, really powerful. And I've been using the, the Swell Pro drones for like over a year now. I love them. I've got nothing bad to say about them. They're just amazing quality products down to the packaging, every single element about the uh, Swell Pros is high quality. And if you guys know us, we love high quality things. So we're just gonna match up these. This one is A, so we're matching up with A. All right, the drone's set up. I've got the remote here too, and look at that. It looks like a freaking Wii Switch right here. This thing is friggin' awesome. So whenever we catch um, you know, enough bait fish, we're gonna drone out some big heads, some big fish to catch some enormous fish. And uh, really what we're testing today is small hooks versus big hooks. There's a use for each of them. And sometimes you don't wanna use a big hook. Sometimes you don't wanna use a small hook. It's up to you. Today we're gonna be using both. Let's see which one you wanna use. So we got this big lady fish. First of all, let's just take it out of its misery. I'm gonna stab it through the brain. Once it stabs it through the brain, it's completely dead right away. Everything past this is going to be just after death reflexes. So if it twitches, it's it's because it's, it's already dead. It's just nerves, okay? So we're gonna cut the head, probably about right here. And that's gonna be our bait right here. And then if we wanna use another piece of bait, I can cut it right here again. And right here, and right here, and right here. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of bait with one piece of fish. Now this is my big hook right here. It's not the biggest hook in the world, but it's big enough. And we're just gonna hook this guy through the lip like this. Just like that. See that? So now anything that eats this will get hooked by it, right? So I've got steel leader right here. I've got this big sinker right here to anchor it all down. This sinker is like an anchor. It'll just hold out there. Then I've got really heavy line. 
And we're gonna fly this out, maybe a quarter mile out there and drop it out. So when I open this up, it should just drop it, right? So I put it in here, and then I'll lock it. When I get far enough, I'm just gonna drop it by doing payload A. I'm good. The right. return to home will bring me right back home. So I just switch it downwards and it just flies right back towards me. So now I'll close this bale, take in the slack. But first I wanna retrieve my drone. I don't wanna lose this thing. Now hopefully whatever bites is, is gonna be huge because I, I mean, I'm pretty far out there. Oh, it scares me. Successful drop. So now I've got two rods with small hooks out there and one rod with a huge hook and a huge bait out there. Now we just sit back and wait. We're gonna get you on a ladyfish. It seems like today's one of those days. But are you keeping that one for bait too? I don't know. We've got, we've got a lot of bait already. Nice. All right. Yeah, let's let, let this go. guy go. Yeah. There we go. It's good to let some fish go. Yes, I agree. Well, we gotta. You don't agree? What are you talking about? <laughs> for the fish gods. Yep, you gotta make some sacrifices. Fish that you don't necessarily want to eat, gotta let them go. It's really important not to keep every single thing you catch. You don't want to make fish cakes or something? Oh yeah, I forgot that was really good. Okay, we can do that. We can do fish cakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So nothing has touched this big rod at all so far. It's been out there for about 30 minutes. And honestly, there might not be anything that touches it. But when something does bite it, it could be huge. So it's fun to just have these baits out there catching, you know, whatever wants to bite that while you wait for that big rod to get hit. What happened? She got bitten off by something. It got hung up or something. Big for a second. Yeah, yeah. It, was it was weird. I mean, a second I was getting the bites, I was holding it, and then I just raised the rod tip, but it felt stuck, and yeah. then I just snap whatever it was I lost everything well oh, I got more retalk pre tied already always good to be prepared and yeah. have rigs ready to go exactly whether it be bluefish or other shark tooth fish just bite it off all the time all right all rigged up and ready to go two hooks two small hooks Nice big ladyfish. Is it sticking on the ground? It feels like almost like dead weight, but it is coming in. Now it feels like sticking, honestly. 
like it's over that sandbar. Bluefish ate that, then something ate the bluefish. Whoa! Look at all the marks on this dude. Look that is insane. Oh, Whoa! So when it went totally like slack and it was stuck, something was on that bait. I think so. And he lets go. Because the entire time I just said it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel right, like it felt like dead weight. Crazy. Yeah, you did not put bluefish for bait on there, right? No, I didn't. That's so crazy. Look at that. Tore it up. Wild. Well, I guess we could fly the bluefish out next. Big old crater. <laughs> it's already Big a gold crater. But I, I'm gonna have to change my rig. Look at that. It yeah, really, it just wrecked oh, yeah. it. Yeah. That was something big. Yeah, for sure. I don't know what can wreck my leader line like that. Two pound eight. Yeah. Pound and a half. Whatever. Usually, when I fly out a live bluefish, I get something huge every single time. Yeah. Well, really? let's let, let's let him go. Sure. Give it a clean release. <laughs> clean release. All right, catch and release, guys. <laughs> So with the big hook, we're using a big reel here. I've got the Stella 14,000 size reel right here, 50 pound line, 70 pound shock leader, and then the rig itself is like 200 pound. It's just really heavy duty gear. And I've got it on a 10 foot black diamond rod right here, and that, that just works really well for me. For the smaller hooks, these smaller hooks, I'm using a 5,000 size twin power here on a 10 foot rod. It's got 15 pound line and the small hooks go with the small thinner line the big hooks go with the bigger reel bigger heavier line that's just pretty much how i do it every single time Time to drop soon. Okay, dropping. Payload A. Dropped. Now we're turning home. Blend it up, you mix it with flour, you mix it with like salt and salt and pepper, and then you can fry that. It's like a fish cake. Wow. It so ends so up being when you really scoop good. it, like you don't get those fine bones. No, the bones stay on the skin. Oh, yeah, gotcha. so we'll keep these and we'll make uh, out. fish cakes out of them. All right, awesome. Maybe we need a wheel or anything like that? No, it's no. okay. Yeah, right, let's put it in our thing. Let's get some right, more. Let's do that. Let's go over there, get them in the fish cooler, and uh, quickly get some, give them a gift too. Okay. This is a good idea. It's a good idea. 
So Darcy and Brian just gave us these new Revo glasses and they look so awesome. Yeah, I'm actually, I think they look good. And I found out that Darcy has her own like entire line of glasses yeah, too. Yeah, that's so cool. That um, you can also order on, it's Revo.com, something like that. She but has a discount code. I would say go to her video, right? We're doing like a two-parter here. Go to their channel. She's got a sweet discount code if you want to get some, some awesome of these Revos. shades. Yeah. What are you up to? You rebating? Rebating. Rebate. Everyone loves a rebate. Am I right? Am I right? Yes, you're right. <laughs> on the rod that Darcy cast it out. But that's a big fat whiting right here. It bit the ghost shrimp. It seems like the regular shrimp gets a lot of catfish, whereas the ghost shrimp catch whiting and ladyfish so far. To redo that run, right run. Here, right here. Get on him, Sizzle. You got your pliers, Brendan? You got your uh -huh. tools? Huh? I got tools. Get her out here. Pull him up just a bit here. Get the hook out. Woo! I'm gonna let this beautiful shark go, but that's Looks gorgeous. Like it's a black pit. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. And the way that we can tell it's a black tip, high five. Nice, nice work. Tip. That was awesome teamwork. The way you can tell it's a black tip on that last second to last angle fin. You've got that black up top. Oh, 
that's how you do it. Also, a spinner would have a black tip down here. Second needle tip. Oh, I see, I see. So that's what we call a black tip. It's like you caught a shark before or something, huh? Yes. <laughs> that's the only uh, distinction between the two Good things. Good job, Darcy. But just pull them up a little bit and we can get that hook out. You ready? Hey, you're a beast. You All right, ready? ready? I'm going to get it out. Yep. Take your time. There you go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Taking that hook out. All right, he is feisty as heck, ready to go back. I'm gonna let this wing take him. Wait, just trail drag him backwards. So you can turn him. Wow. She did a great job bringing that thing in. You really gotta fight it correctly, or they'll mess up your line, they'll mess up your hand. It's a real skill to bring in a shark like that and to release it such a clean release like that. And uh, we did a great job doing it. Uh, that Swell Pro worked really well to drop it out there. That's something we can't cast that far. That was a clean release, Darcy. Clean. That awesome. yeah, yeah, we we that's, that solidified everything right <laughs> yes. there. Yes, that was yes. awesome teamwork. Brendan putting us on some nice fish on the beach today. Should we try for one more? Yeah, let's do it. Let's All right. Do it. All right. They like that whiting. I was using whiting for that whiting? one. Oh, yeah. it was whiting. the small hook here. Awesome. Beautiful. So I left that rod there for like 15, 20 minutes. I haven't done anything with it. And when I got back to it, it seemed like my line was really slack. As soon as I reeled it in, I was like, oh, there's something on here. And when I brought it in, it was the best fish we could catch. Pompano. It worked out pretty much exactly like I thought it would. The small hooks, I was able to catch just so, so many fish. Fish after fish after fish after fish. Some of that, I'll use it for bait for the big rod. But the big hook, it only got two big bites. And we landed one shark, and we got one bluefish that got bitten in half. That's fun itself, too. But honestly, I don't like to do just one or the other. I prefer to catch lots of fish and just have more fun reeling in fish after fish. Some people, they like bigger fish. They only want to target bigger fish. They don't care about the smaller fish. Then come out here with the drone and come out here with a big hook and some big real stuff. Comment below, what do you like to do? Personally, I like to do the smaller fish after fish method. We have all these high-low rigs and all sorts of different kinds of bait and, and stuff for you to catch fish. It's on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. The bait elastic works so well to keep the shrimps on there. And also, the rigs that we were using I hand tie and I make them just for you guys so that you can get out there and catch fish right away. So if you want to help support our channel and catch fish at the same time, check out our website, hayskipperfishing.com. 
I want to give a big thank you to Dar Sizzle for coming out and doing an awesome collaboration with us. It was such a fun time. We're going to come back out here tomorrow again. Hopefully, we'll get another video. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next week.